All right, if you're making them the homemade way, you want to use want to use matches. Um, so we make the get another bowl here. Here we go. You can break the match heads off like so. Try to avoid getting wood in your uh, in the mix. All right, you see how to break those apart, right? Then I grind those down. You can mash them or grind them. I, I use a little coffee grinder, but I highly recommend maybe not using this <laughs> because it's very dangerous. You have to be very careful about uh, igniting the composition. But so this is the powder that we're using. And what we're going to do is these cardboard cups. I'm not going to show how to make them uh, because these are from the kit that you order, but it's not very difficult to figure this out. You can take a couple of layers of craft paper or grocery bag, whatever, put some glue on it, put it on a pencil or a pen, um, and then wrap it in wire to let it sit and then trim it down. But anyway, here's this little cup and I'm gonna mix some clear nail, nail polish. God, I can't say clear nail polish. Um, this is Sally Hansen double duty. It's just some four dollar or yeah four dollar stuff I got at CVS or Target it has a nitrous cellulose base so um, it burns extremely well once it's dry so we make a little paste here oh shit but before we do that we have to thread this cut with some string right you want to use a braided uh, mantle, right? So the mantle of the string, which is the outer sheath, should be braided. If it's twisted, it will not... Um, well, it might work with twisted. It might work with natural twine, too, like cotton twine. Um, but that's for the uh, impregnation of the striker composition, which we will get to shortly. So, what we're gonna... Whoopsies! What we're going to do here is leave this cup, it'll say mid span on this string here, right? We're going to make this composition here. Um, I say this a lot. Uh, a lot of this is repeating information in, in this series of videos. I go through these phases, right? So like I'll make videos on one subject and then exhaust it. Uh, it coincides with my obsessive nature. But um, so what I'm doing here is being sure to get this gooey stuff circumferentially surrounding this thread, right? We want it to go all around it and then to be compressed the bottom of the cup. Now, it is tempting to use PVA glue instead of, you know, like school glue, instead of the nitrocellulose, but I'll tell you what, I, I did four different ignition systems yesterday, um, which I should have tested before shooting the video. I, I wasted a lot of energy doing that. And then this, the nitrocellulose one was the only one that worked. Um, all right, so we compact that down. We do not want to overfill this cup either. That's another thing that we have to kind of resist. So see how this is done? That is compressed around circumferentially the string. Okay, so now, once this is dry, what we're going to do is use a matchbox, dump some nitrocellulose lacquer on it, aka clear nail, nail polish, take a knife or a razor blade, and just scrape it, scraping off some of that red phosphorus.
And uh, so a striker is composed of, I think, red phosphorus um, and powdered glass for friction. And what else is in it? I think that's it. All right, so now we, now we have this red paste, right? And strange, what's cool is that the, it doesn't destroy the striker either, using this, just scraping off some of it. And we're just gonna coat this thread with this striker compound that we just made. dries quite fast. There. That is done.